before he does things in the spiritual. First the natural and then the 1 Corinthians 15. You've got that. And uh, I thought to myself, you know what, maybe maybe she's on to something with just, just saying something so simple like that because I've been hearing and people have been saying 2013 is going to be a powerful year in the, in the kingdom of God. People are going to get born again like crazy. There are going to be a lot of revivals. And I, I, I want to be a big part of that. I do. And uh, it's very possible that God's given us a, a, a prelude of what's coming. Green is a picture of life. You know that. You know, when you see green grass, it's a picture of plenty of rain and plenty of life. Good things are happening. Everything's going on. And, you know, you might say, well, yeah, but it's just in Arizona. Everybody else is droughted out and burnt down. Okay. You know, I'm not saying that, you know, and Connie didn't prophesy. She just said, I wonder. And I wonder myself. Maybe we're just going to have revival in our church. How you like that? Well, yeah, that'd be good. Um, but I do believe that uh, in this vision, he said he looked under the floor. He said, I got down and he said, I looked through this hole and he said, there was just flames all underneath America. He said, it was just on fire down underneath there. And you know, uh, the house can only take so much fire before it, 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 everything catches on fire. But he said it this way. He said, you know what? God gave us a warning for a reason. He said, I want you to know the reason. He, I believe he gave us this warning. He says, I do believe that, second, you know, what is it? Second uh, Chronicles 714, if my people, because see, it all starts with us. And I'm going to go back into that a little later, and I'm going to talk about that. And, and, and I, don't care, I don't care who they are or where they come from, but our nation was big, based and developed on God. You can believe that or not. I don't care what you believe. It's still true. I have a little book right here, and I ain't going to read it today, but it's called The New England Primer. I told you Wayne had this thing. And they used to teach school out of this. That's what they used for the, I don't remember what grades they used it for, but it was like first grade right on, I guess. I don't know. But you know what this book is based on? It's based out of this book right here. A, they taught was, you know, they, they gave little, little, uh, uh, Sayings based on the, the letter A. And, and it was all come right out of the Bible. The New England Primer. That's what this is. Now you understand, and I want to get into this if I have time, but you understand that we've come a long ways from this. Our education department today are a bunch of communists. And they're, 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 they're educating people full of evolution. Homosexuals okay. I got so much to say about this stuff that, that God's going to, you know, no, I can tell you our foundation is on fire. It's obvious when you just look around. Uh, I'll tell you this. The other day, Kelly and I were up in uh, uh, Flagstaff, and we went, I was, I've been, I got a little bit more to do up there for these guys. And, and I'm finishing the job uh, for these people. And uh, we were up there with Larry anyway, and we were sitting in his house. And Larry is, he's up in the, uh, the you know, kind of the side in the bottom of Morgan Mountain. And his reception for everything is pretty, sh pretty shaky. He's got a TV and he gets three channels. Two of them are Spanish and one of them is English. And I told him, I said, Larry, you need to learn Spanish. At least you'll get more, you know, <laughs> two Spanish and one English. So he's, we're up there and it's the NBC channel. That's the Channel 12 out of Phoenix. That's the only channel he gets. He was delighted. He said, that's the only reason I don't want any of those. That's the one I wanted. I was just fine, you know, because they, he said they have the best weather and the best news. And I thought, well, you know, whatever. I don't watch any of them, so I don't care. But anyway, Kelly and I were up there. And since he's got one channel, guess what we watched? We didn't watch the Spanish channel. The only time I watched the Spanish channel was the other day. I was up there. It was a Monday night. It was last Monday night. And you know who was speaking on last Monday night, right? Our president. So I went to the Spanish channel and I watched him in Spanish. That way I didn't have a clue what he said. <laughs> That's the truth. I'm not kidding you at all. Um, anyway, we were watching this channel and I, I'm trying to make a point here. Our foundation is on fire and I'm going to tell you why. Do you know demons have overrun Hollywood? Huh? They got a show out now. And listen to me. They got a show out now. It's called The New Normal. How many of you know what the new normal is? Come on. The new normal is homosexual is fantastic. It's great. That's what they're promoting on this show, homosexuality, because it's the new normal. Hey, I can marry my best friend, and it don't matter if he's a male or a female. It don't matter. It's okay. 
You know, I don't understand. Did God create Adam and Eve? I wonder why He did that. Something, something was, must be wrong with God. I mean, I, I, the people nowadays, they, they're way smarter than God. But no, I'll tell you the problem. Demons have invaded Hollywood. They got, there was another one up there I looked at, and I didn't watch this. And honestly, I never watched that show. I was reading the, uh, I was reading the, uh, the uh, regulations on the Game and Fish. You know, I thought that's way more interesting watching that garbage. But there was two or three different shows that come on, and I'm going, you know what? No wonder people are who they are and what they do. It's amazing to me. Of the, I don't have a TV like that where I can, where, where I watch that stuff. It's like no wonder people think like they think. It don't surprise me at all because that's all they get puked on all day long. They watch that trash all day long, every day. And I'm going, well, no wonder we're where we're at. I, I, I ask myself the question, how do, people, how do people get to the place where they think like the way they think? Well, now I know. Because that's all they're, they promote that. They, they brainwash them all the time. They get it in school. They get it in TV. That's all they get. And you know what? If there's not powerful resurrection and revival in America, we're going to have a big old collapse. And the Bible says when the foolish man's house fell, great was the fall thereof. You understand what I'm saying? I'm telling you this morning that if something don't radically change in the church, now I, ex you know what I expected all out there, but see, the church world, they watch that trash too. They live it. They live that trash too. And then they, and you wonder, well, what in the world is the matter with the church? Why do they think that homosexual is okay? Let me tell you something. God loves homosexual people. Did you know that? He loves the people. But it is a sin, my friend. And when you promote a sin, you know, the Bible says that, that uh, righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. So when you, and that's what they're doing. They're promoting this stuff. They promote like abortion. So what? I heard somebody the other day, um, they just talking about abortion. And the guy said, well, I'm, you know, I, I like what Obama stands for. And so he asked him a question. He said, well, let me ask you a question. Is it okay if somebody aborts a baby when they're about a week from delivery? He goes, well, I don't think so. He goes, wait a minute. You just told me you agreed with Obama. Because he's okay with that. Well, let me ask you this question then. Since, since maybe you're backpedaling, how about if it's just a six months along? Would you go ahead and abort it? He goes, nah. no, I don't think I would. Well, then you obviously are on my side. You don't agree with Obama. He said, let me ask you, how about just three months along? He goes, well, yeah, maybe three months along. I probably would go ahead. But the point I'm trying to make is, listen. God knew him from conception. And you might say, well, there's got to be circumstances, situations. And I'm glad that I don't live through that trash. Man, I don't want to live through that, okay? And I know there's circumstances that I didn't live through, and I don't know what the people are going through. But I'm going to tell you something. It doesn't matter how that baby got here. It's a life. You understand that? It, God knew him from conception. You know, it, it always amazes me. i got to quit. But listen to this. I haven't even got started. But it's always amazing to me how God can take certain people that have no possible chance and make them a prophet. And you're going, how do you do that, God? You, you need to study the background and the life of James Robertson. Robinson, I'm sorry. James Robinson. The guy had no chance in life. He didn't have a Chinaman's chance in hell. He was a, a bastard son that nobody wanted. Study it out for yourself. Illegitimate. Should have been aborted. But my God, he's had a huge impact because of the gospel through Jesus Christ on this nation. And guess what? He's still having huge impact overseas, feeding thousands and thousands of little kids. Otherwise, he will starve to death. And preaching the gospel at the same time. How many of you know sometimes you feed him and you preach? And I have confidence in that man. I truly, I truly, I'll stand with him. Say, well, that ain't right. No, God can take.